let's give this a second shot shall we i feel like i haven't sat down to do one of these types of videos in a long while and i'm doing this in a different setting today in a different environment because that's what i have to do i have a new makeshift filming uh set up right now because we had to do some rearrangements in the house due to the self-isolation situation and which is also making my filming much much more difficult these days so that is the reason why i've been uh, late in posting new videos on my youtube channel hopefully you'll understand it and hopefully i can find new uh, ways to actually cope with this and make sure that i don't um you know i don't delay publishing new videos that i promise to do every week so the introduction done that set aside today's topic is google analytics and i'm going to talk about a tool an option it's not really a tool it's an option that you might not have heard of before because i hadn't uh until lately um, but it is something that we covered in my class at george brown college uh, if you've been a subscriber to the channel or my social media accounts you might already know that i taught the marketing analytics and measurement course in the strategic relationship marketing program at george brown college and yesterday was the last day of uh, classes at least for my course it was the last day of class for this winter semester and now we're going on a break until the spring semester starts which i don't know if i will be teaching uh, during spring semester yet but uh that's not the point Ada. Since I was teaching marketing analytics, one of the key components of the course had to be Google Analytics. Uh, and it is one of the key things to really learn as a marketer so that you become a more da data savvy marketer so that you're able to read data and draw insights from that and draw conclusions and help to uh, optimize your strategy, marketing strategy. So it was a key component of the class and as you may know, if you've previously attempted to learn Google Analytics through other sources, through courses or whatever it may be, uh, you might have realized that it, it's difficult to learn how to handle the tool and how to efficiently use it to your advantage unless you have actual data, actual web traffic that you see in the Google Analytics account. So if your Google Analytics account isn't connected to a website, so if you don't have your own website or if you're not working with a client whose um, website traffic is tracked within Google Analytics, you're not able to see actual numbers, real numbers in a Google Analytics dashboard. So, you know, what you're seeing really makes sense and that you can really put it into context. So that is one of the challenging things about learning Google Analytics. Uh, unless you have actual website traffic uh, being tracked in Google Analytics, you're not able to do that. And, and I know that this is the case for most people, unless you have your own website, um, which doesn't apply to everyone like for example in my class none of my students had their own websites which meant that basically if i told them to just go ahead and look at their own google analytics results from you know coming from their websites they wouldn't be able to do it and it's the case for a lot of people so given that fact learning google analytics through courses is a bit difficult because everything you learn kind of stays very theoretical unless you can actually practice what you've learned Okay, now that I've talked about the problem and the challenge enough, I want to start talking about the solution. Google has an actual e-commerce website, an actual functioning, real e-commerce website that's called Google Merchandise Store. For those of you who haven't heard of that before, uh, who haven't ever checked the website before, the URL is, and I will put it on the screen as well, it's shop.googlemerchandisestore.com. And if you are a fan of Google, then you can go ahead and purchase their products and see how the actual delivery works and so on. But what I want to tell you about is that Google Merchandise Store has its own Google Analytics account and Google kindly opened up the Google Analytics account for that store, for the Google Merchandise Store, for all users, anyone who wants to learn Google Analytics to use and link to their own Google Analytics account. So now a little exercise. Count the number of times that I said account in that sentence. 
So if you wanted to practice or learn Google Analytics using real numbers, using an actual Google Analytics account that has meaningful data inside it, then you're able to connect Google Merchandise Store's demo account to your Google Analytics account. Then you'll be able to see any number that you would see in a real, actual Google Analytics account if that website was yours. I think this is going to be better if I actually start doing a screen share and show how to do that, how to connect your account to Google Merchandise Store, Google Analytics account, and to actually start viewing and playing around with numbers in the Google Analytics account. So many times saying account. All right, then if you're ready, let's switch to my screen and I will start doing a screen share and I will take you through how to do this process and how you can learn Google Analytics through actually an interactive experience. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is in Google, open a new tab and enter Google Merchandise Store and click the first link that comes up, which is googlemerchandisestore.com. So click that. I want to first of all show you the e-commerce website and so that so that you actually get the context first and you see how the store looks like. And then we're going to move on to how you can uh, access the demo account, how you can link it to your own Google Analytics account, and then how you can basically start playing around with numbers. So once I enter the Google Merchandise Store.com in my um, URL area, I'm going to be asked to select the location. For me, it's Canada. So I go ahead and do that. And this is how the store looks like. And if you're in a different location, it might look different. I haven't checked for all locations, but it, I'm thinking it'll, it is probably going to be the same. So there isn't really much content to cover on the website. It's just simply um, aim to sell products that are either Google branded or Android or YouTube branded for now. So as you'll see, you can uh, filter different apparel types, different lifestyle products, product categories, uh, stationary items, and you can shop by brand. There's also a sale category and a campus collection. Uh, let's open this one so that I can show you like how the actual product pages look like as well. Uh, again, as you'll see, once you click on any of the filters over here, there isn't really any content on the web page. It, it is basically uh, product information, very brief information, pricing, images, and once you click something, you can go ahead and see what happens. So let's click this one, Google Cambridge Campus Zip Hoodie. Uh, when I click that, it kind of flips over and I'm able to see a little bit more information about the fabric and the product itself. And then I can choose the size and I can add to cart even on this you know, flipped um, option. Or I can go ahead and click the view product page and it takes me to a product page which is a bit more detailed. Um, it's a specific product page for the product. So again, I can see a little more information about the product and I can select my size, quantity, and I can go ahead and add to cart and I can proceed to payment if I'm already ready or if I if I want to continue shopping I can do that so as you see it's a very typical e-commerce website um, and again emphasis on the fact that there is really no content on the website so it, the sole focus the purpose of the website is to sell these items and the Google Analytics account um, is for this Google merchandise store so what I want you to do uh, the second step is to open a new tab and search for Access Demo Account Google Analytics. So once the results come up for you, this one is the one that you want to select. The English one, obviously, this is the Turkish result. For some reason, I still keep getting Turkish results on my Google. I have yet to change that. Um, so you click the second one and it instantly brings up the section that is relevant to your search, which is access the demo account. And to go ahead with the, um, with the demo account, you first need to have your own Google account. So that is number one thing that you need to have. And ideally also create your Google Analytics account as well. Once you have a Google email, once you have a Google account, then you are going to be uh, logging into your account. And once you click the access demo account option right here, it's going to take you to um, the Google Analytics dashboard. 
Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm currently looking at the Google Merchandise Stores Analytics dashboard, and I want to show you uh, how it would it could possibly look like for you once you if you have more than one analytics account already linked to your Google account. So let's check which ones I have. I have three Google Analytics accounts in total that are linked to this specific email that I'm using. This is for my blog. This is for an old website that I used to have, uh, an old startup project. And this demo account uh, that we see on the top is for the Google Merchandise Store, as you see right here. And when you are looking at the data, make sure that you've selected the master view and go ahead with that. So this is actually the one that opens by default, but still, if you realize that it's not on master view, make sure that you uh, select the master view so that you are able to see uh, this version. So this is how the dashboard looks like for you. And now uh, you're basically in the Google Merchandise Store's analytics account and you have all the numbers um, as if this website actually belongs to you and you can basically play around with anything um, apart from creating goals and setting up, um, well, setting up goals and making any changes to the account, you're able to see the numbers and you're able to um, filter the numbers, you're able to use the different menus and stuff like that, attribution goals and so on. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just going to be a little bit of repetition, but again, like it's, feel free to use this as uh, if it's your own analytics account and play around with numbers, play around with dates. So for my class, we actually had a Google um, Merchandise Store Business Review assignment, which is uh, one of the primary assignments for my course. And we selected a certain time frame and we selected different uh, segments of users to analyze and different groups in my class have the presentations to do a business review and create um, come up with assumptions and come up with recommendations for the Google Merchandise Store for the next period. So that is exactly what you can use uh, this uh, for as well. And I believe it will be really helpful to actually see real numbers you're going to see. So once you kind of scroll down, I know that I have my video over here, so it's kind of prevents me from uh, doing everything very comfortably, but you can go under different menus. Um, you can go under, if you go under conversions, you'll actually start to see the shopping behavior. There's another menu right behind my face over here, which is sales performance, if I'm not mistaken. So if you go there, you'll also see the purchases and you can look at the shopping behavior, the e-commerce conversion rate, so on and so forth. So you'll be able to see any type of number, any um, analytics figures, metrics, that you would see for an actual live, real working e-commerce website, which is super helpful if you don't have your own website to look at traffic so far. Uh, so that's all. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and hopefully this will help you to pra get practice with Google Analytics and to familiarize with the dashboard and see how you can um, use the different menus in Google Analytics. Hopefully you found the video helpful and you watched till the end. If you did, then it means you're seeing this. Uh, it would really mean a lot if you liked the video, if you liked it, if uh, you can subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications for new videos and share with your network and friends if you think they will also benefit from the information. Um, I will really, really appreciate that. Thanks for being here and hopefully the video actually turns out to be nice in the end. That's all I wanted to share today and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Do you want to wave? Do you want to wave, Ada? Hmm.